Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's the Beast Pokeball here as always coming at you guys with the next MPA battle. Guys, we're in week six of the MPA, and this week, guys, we're facing Cressel Key and the Adelaide Umbreons. I hope I said the city name right. Of course, guys, we're gonna be picking Music 7 as always. I decided to put in some background music this time. Just because, you know, I have damage calcs up, and sometimes when I run my browser, it makes the audio go all weird. Uh, but I, I want to try and win this one, especially since, uh, spoiler alert, you can probably tell from the thumbnail, we lost our last battle. Um, so, yeah. So, I've crafted with my assistant coach, Tabes, whose links you can find in the description below, a pretty nice team. A pretty nice team. Um, I put a lot of effort into myself this time. Um, I'm not a very good team builder. That's the main reason I had my assistant coach. But I put a lot more effort into it. Uh... Which was, you know, there's like a little deal arranged, blah, blah, blah. Um, either way, I'm really excited for this battle. I'm really excited for this battle. I know I said I picked Music 7. I just realized you guys can't hear the music because I'm doing Glitch Music, Glitch X City, uh, and KMX, so check them out, of course. And uh, last last note before we get started, Cress, all her different links can be found in the description. She's a great friend of mine. She's a moderator of mine on Twitch. Uh, you know, she's just a good friend. She's a good friend. I love Cress. She's the best. And yeah, let's go ahead again the battle. Sorry, there's been a while since the update. Been super busy with school this last week. Anyways, our team today we have a Mega Meta Champ. We have the Fallen Champ. Oh God, it hurts saying that. Bisharp, who's 11. Er, he's either 11 and one or 12 and one. Uh, we have Gastrodon. We have Magmortar. We have Cafagrigus, and lastly Magnezone. My potential leads. I'm thinking. Thinking either the. Gastrodon or the Cathagrius. <sighs> Potentially, I can bring the uh, Magnezone as well. So, she's gonna be. Let me take a picture of that. She didn't bring Gardevoir. What? That's insane. Alright, that's okay though, also. So, okay. Two threats I need to get out of the way, like immediately, are this Caesar and this Crocodile. Now, okay, well, you know what? So Bisharp has a chance to sweep if I get a Swords Dance, as long as we get rid of Crocodile, because Crocodile, uh, it has its little, what's it called? It, Crocodile has, it could possibly be Choice Scarf, and I can't kill it with a Sucker Punch. I'd have to Iron Head. Um, I have Focus Sash Bisharp, so we'll see how that works. Anyways, my potential lead, kinda, sorta, feeling, Torkoal I didn't really prepare for much, I really didn't. I feel like she might lead with the... Ambipom. Which means Cafagrius can handle it pretty well. Potentially. Or. Huh. <laughs> what is our best lead? Why don't we go with Gastrodon? Since we have a nice bit of physical bulk. And do that. Alright, that should be good. Gastrodon was the lead I was thinking of. So we'll see how this goes, guys. I'm really excited. Hopefully, we can pull out a dub. That'd be awesome. Uh, it feels nice to be commentating. It's been such a long time since I've commentated. It was the end of the quarter, so I had to get all that makeup work in of all that homework that I secretly skipped. I had to get all that in, so that was a mess. Speed tapes! Ah, I knew she would leave with that. Alright, kill! Cool. Alright, so we predicted her lead, right? Which is bueno. Now, the fake, the obvious fake out is obvious. So, honestly, do we just scald or do I switch? I could switch into Kafag. If I switch into Cafagrigus, then her fake out will do nothing. I also want to save Cafagrigus for the Salamence. Because that's what it's mainly for. Gastrodon can also handle the Salamence. And also, Cafagrigus can't necessarily hit this, but I can burn it. So I'm, that's my goal right now, I guess. So we'll go into Cafagrigus, see what she does here. Remember guys, you can check Cress's links in the description below. And uh, remember, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that sub button for me guys, that'd be pretty tight. Anyways, going for the Will-O-Wisp is definitely a good play here. She could potentially go into her Torkoal, but I'm not too afraid of that, in all honesty. I'm not too afraid. U-turn, alrighty. Now, it'd be cool to see her go into something like Caesar. Uh, or Crocodile. ooh, that'd be cool. Um, she might just go into Torkoal predicting it. Which is fine, you know, that's fine. The good thing, uh, we're running Jolly High Jump Kick Metacham, which means that we can outspeed a Crocodile if it isn't Scarfed. Uh, we also want Willis not to miss here. Cuddle Tapes, oh god. Okay, alright, good play, good play. Now we do have Shadow Ball. Now, potentially, she does as well. 
Uh, this Reuniclus is actually a big threat. It really is. Uh, the thing about it though is that I can also get this set, like... I can take it out with Bisharp since I'm Focus Ash. I can set up a Sword Dance and knock off. And it's just bam, it's dead. But, the thing is, with the Crocodile, that's not safe yet. Bisharp is potentially a win condition here. Uh, if we get the Crocodile out of the way. So that's kind of, I guess, our goal. I'm going to shoot off a Shadow Ball here. Uh, I'd assume she's going to do the same. But I don't really want anyone else to be eating a Shadow Ball right now. Uh, but then again, Kefagrigus is for... No, yeah, I'm going to stay and I'm going to Shadow Ball. She's going to Psychic. Alright, well, I can eat that fairly well. A lot of damage, actually. Still enough to eat an Outrage definitely after the Leftovers. So we take her down to half health. And the Special Defense drop. That's pretty big, actually. Um, Yeah, so we can eat another, I think. But she might go for the Shadow Ball this turn. It's rough knowing what she's going to do, but it's definitely safest for me, in all honesty, just to straight up go for the Shadow Ball again. Uh, even if I lose Kefagrigus this early, um, yeah, even if I lose Kefagrigus this early, I still have Gastrodon to deal with Salamence, if need be. So I will stay in and go for the Shadow Ball. She's going to draw. Go back into Ambipom. Speedy Tapes. What the heck is Speedy Tapes? Oh, I mean, yeah, okay. But it's like, you can knock off, right? I'm really defensive. Again, I, I'm just gonna Will-O-Wisp. I mean, there's really no point in not. She can't fake me out. So the Will-O-Wisp seems like to be the best move here, I, I guess. I'm always so afraid. Like, I always, like, check and make sure that I didn't mess something up and like that I'm still recording <laughs> I'm always afraid like I forgot to press start recording I'll do post com like there's nothing wrong with post com but I, I just prefer live com one cuz you know you guys get to see me with all is she gonna go into the thing uh, wheezy tapes all right oh smart 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 okay that was cool um at this point we can still we can definitely eat an outrage with this amount of health we're at we can eat an outrage from the salamence Despite it being plus one. So I can go into Gastrodon here. And eat whatever. Or I can go to Magmordar. No, no, no. I can go into Gastrodon. Yeah. And I can potentially eat whatever she wants to throw at me. Uh, whether it be an Earth Power. She's probably going to go set up her rocks here. So we'll go into Gastrodon. Since we have a little bit more of the special bulk on the Gastrodon. Plus the type advantage is pretty big. Now, Skull, I think that's a special Salamence, in all honesty. Flamethrower. Alright, yum, 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 yum. Eat that, eat that. I think that's a special Salamence. I really do. Uh, I do believe that she's going to go back into either... She's either going to go into Salamence, and if she does, that confirms it's special. Or she's going to go into the, uh, the little fetus dude again. Uh, since she knows she can eat it, and already burned. So I'm just going to shoot at the Skull here, no point in not doing that. Uh, and if she does go into the Salamence, that would be a pretty, pretty weird, yeah, okay, this guy, this guy can back out. Alright, alright, fool. Alright, so the Skull's going to go off, I'd assume it's going to do, what? Enough to hit, no, mm, no, it's not enough to kill, is it? Well, Grass Knot, this Hidden Power Grass a thing? I don't, I don't know if I want to risk it, you know? This thing could be running Hidden Power Grass, potentially. It also could protect. I think we're faster, so I'm just gonna Scald. Or I can Ice Beam. No, I'm gonna Scald. That'd be dumb to Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw out the Scald here. See what happens. Hopefully it kills. If Hidden Power Grass, then I will... Oh god, you're kidding me. Recover! Oh! Oh, joy! Joy to the world. Yeah, okay. Well. <laughs> we're gonna have to play some prediction games here, boys. We're going to have to play some prediction games. I... This turn, since, again, I know you can't hit me too hard. Oh, wait. Mm, this would be a good time. I don't think she has. I don't think she has any power graphs. I'm going to Scald again. I'm just going to do it. 
Crit. No. Energy ball. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. Completely forgot about that. All right. So at this point, I have a few options. Uh, I could, that was completely my fault. I am just, I'm thinking about, I can go into Bisharp. I'm gonna go into Bisharp. Even if she wants to throw out Crocodile my way, that's an Intimidate boost, potentially. If not, I can always switch out. So knockoff is obvious, also the best move I got. Considering she didn't even bring her Mega, so she has nothing to... Yeah, alright, there we go. So bringing in Crocodile or Salamence here would actually be a huge mistake. Considering it would give me the plus one. Uh, her best move would probably be going into Torkoal. And I'm really not ready to start setting up yet. Also, Caesar can do a good amount of damage. She's going to go into Speedy Tapes again. Alright, that's this thing. Now, I almost want to predict that she's going to predict the fake out. Like, she's she knows. I could Sucker Punch. Will Sucker Punch kill? Let's find out. Let me run some calcs real quick. We got Bisharp. Oh, you Swords Dancer. Reverse. Ambipom. Um, attack speed. She could be running Low Kick. So, a Sucker Punch is a guaranteed 2 hit KO. Alright, that's not worth it. Uh... Yeah, that's not worth it. I am going to make the switch. Now, I... <laughs> this is actually a pretty weird place we're put into. Because I don't want Kafagagus to take some huge hit. What does Magnezone necessary? Okay, Magnezone is for Caesar. So is Magmortar. Then again. Hmm. How much time? Alright, 26 seconds. We're going. No. Hmm. Dude, like, Salamence is scary, my dude. We're going to Magnezone. She's playing smart with these switches. She really is. She's doing well. Except a Gary right here. Ah, there's the fake out. Alright. Well. We do outspeed, I believe, since we're scarfed. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna Volt Switch, actually. Or do I predict this switch into Crocodile? And go into... That would be insane. That would be insane. She could go for a low kick here, though, which is pretty scary. I, I don't want to risk it, especially when, as soon as we get rid of the Crocodile, we have a sweep. Uh, so I'm gonna just Thunderbolt here. Yeah. Just gonna Thunderbolt here. Don't wanna make any bad predictions. It's early on. She's- Oh, she outsped. Okay. Critical hit. Definitely mattered. Okay, well. In that case... Ooh, okay. In that case... I'm slightly terrified. I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna... <clears throat> this is a really weird situation we're in, actually. U-turn. Of course. Alright, so she went into Torkoal. Ooh, that was... I didn't think she'd outspeed. Damn. She's playing really well. So props to her. Um, at this point, she's almost at the point where I believe Sucker Punch can KO her now. This crocodile is scaring me. Not gonna lie. Wheezy Tabes. Yep. Okay. The will o -Wisp goes out again. Now, what's scary at this point is that... Like, this Torkoal is literally a threat. So I'm just gonna Shadow Ball, see how much that does. 
We outspeed, which is odd. I guess I don't know Torkoal is that slow. Special Defense Trap would be sick. Flamethrower, I'm pretty sure we can eat it, right? Yeah, easily. Lefty's Recovery should be enough for us to live another one. I almost want to go for the Pain Split here. She has leftovers as well. I am going to throw out the Pain Split here. Yeah, I'm going to throw out the Pain Split. HP, yum yum yum. Get her down a little bit. Gyro Ball. Uh, we should be able to eat that no problem. Now you have Mummy too. That's good for us. That's good for us. That could potentially make this next Shadow Ball a KO. Now, do we want to predict the Crocodile switch here? Not necessarily. So we're sitting about the same HP here, and the special defense drop! That's what we need. Thank you. All right, no crits. No crit zone. Nice. Nice. Uh, now, one thing about the Crocodile is if she does switch it in, at that point... Ah. Uh, the Ambi Palm of Fake Out is also scary. Whatever. Shadow Ball here. Get this thing out of here. Once and for all. I don't think I'll be able to eat an Outrage. I don't. <laughs> Salamence is scary. At this point, it's extremely terrifying. We have HP Ice on this thing, though. Angry Tabes, which is Crocodile. Cool. So the thing I know about Crocodile is that it cannot Oko our um, Metacham, whether it is fast or not. Um, so at this point, it's kind of looking like... Yeah, kind of looking like we're going to have to say goodbye to Cofagragus. I'll shoot out a Will-O-Wisp in case something, something or other. But, I don't know, we'll see. We will see. Here from knockoff, yep. Alright, so that's goodbye Cofagrigus, which I was completely expecting. Uh, Mummy's gonna go off, no Moxie for you. So you're not Intimidate, I should have noticed that. Um, that's okay. Uh, the Mummy's good, the Mummy's good. Mummy is good. Now we can go into Medicham. I think it's Scarfed Moxie, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a switch here. Into what? I don't know. So, uh, just naturally, I could go for the Fake Out, or I could do something different. But Fake Out's smart, no matter what she does. Yeah, okay, so she stayed in. So Fake Out was, indeed, the smart play. Now, if she's not Scarfed, we'll outspeed. Yeah, You're lo- No way! Dude, that- I have to switch out. I have to switch out! Okay. Oh my god, I have to switch out. That- Dude, my own mummy screwed me over. Oh my god, okay. I have to switch out. No way. I mean, a high jump kick could probably still kill. Can't it? I think it can. Alright, so you're scarfed. You can eat that, of course. High jump kick connects. That's enough! Yes! There we go. Alright, I need her to go into Ambipom now. Speedy tapes. Yes! Alright. So this is good. So, what we're gonna do now is... Unfortunately, Magmortar, it looks like he's gonna need to be sacked here. And it's gonna go to the Dream Team, Medicham, and Bisharp to finish this off. Fake out, of course. Ugh, damage. Anyways, 
what we can do is go for a flamethrower here. Return is whatever. Yeah, so we're gonna die. That's okay. Flame body! No way! That's insane! That's insane. So a fake out's enough to take him out now, right? But so is a sucker punch, and she can potentially. Oh, the bullet punch is scary, but okay. I think our best bet is actually Metcham. Metcham fake out. Yeah. The Caesar is what I'm still very afraid of, though. Anyways, fake out's gonna go off here. She has a lot of priority. That's really good. She went for fake out. I don't. I don't. Whatever. Uh, that might have been a misclick. It didn't really matter. This is this is going well. I think maybe we can seal the deal. I'm not sure. The Caesar is still really scary. However, next. Okay, what's she gonna go into now? No matter what she goes into. Oh, dude, intimidate actually. Slick. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to high jump kick. <sighs> and I think after, if we live the bullet punch, after a high jump kick, a sucker punch might, a plus one sucker punch might be enough to take him out. If the, I hope the high, can we live a bullet punch? I, if it's banded, I don't think we can. Can't. But! Okay, the question is, is it banded or is it... Alright, we have to play our Bisharp right, guys. Here we go. We have a Focus Sash! Now. Do we knock off or do we Swords Dance? How much damage got this time, baby? Bisharp against a Scizor. Not Mega Scizor. OU bulky? Let's just let's assume OU offensive. I need to set to level 50s. Damn level 100 crap. Got me all chopped. A knockoff will do about 50%. Is a plus two knockoff a guaranteed okay though? And Okay, wait no no, item. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Knockoff to seven okay, we're gonna go for knockoff. Bullet punch! They're locked in! That's actually potentially huge. I need to set up... I don't need to set up a sword stance, actually. But is it a... Crits, dude. Crits scare me here. I think I'm just gonna sucker punch. I should, I should do it. It all depends if her Salamence has Intimidate. Hi, Tabes. Dude, why? You're obsessed with Tabes. Oh my god. No Intimidate. I don't know if we'll be able to... Maybe the Swords Dance was the play there. Uh, we'll go for the second punch, see what happens, guys. It's not enough! The Earthquake! No! We played so well, but that's going to be another L. Critical hit, don't believe it mattered. But hey, that was a really fun battle. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, so unfortunately, we did take the L. But hey, like I said, it was a great battle. Remember to check out Cress's links in the description. That Swords Dance would have won us the game. Swords Dance would have won us the game. I should have played Risky. I should have known that she would have known not to run the, uh, the Salamence with Intimidate. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the battle, guys. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like as always. Check out Crest and Tapes in the description, as long as Glitch X City and KMX for the music provided in the background. Upload should return return to a normal schedule after this, guys. And as always, let the outro roll. <laughs>